Hi friends, it's Mrs. McCarver and it's time for our reading lesson today. This week we've talked a little bit more about retelling our story. And one of the parts of a retell is to talk about the characters. That's the first part. Today I want to talk to you about how we can do a little more thinking about our characters. So if I showed you this, what does it make you think of? Maybe it makes you think of your phone or mom or dad's phone, but what do all these feelings tell us about? If I made a face like this, could you tell how I was feeling? Yeah, you would know I'm feeling sad. What if I made a face like this? Could you tell how I was feeling? I bet you'd guess I was feeling happy. Well, you noticed how I was feeling based on my face. What about this one? <clears throat> Can you point to that face over here? Yeah, you're probably pointing here. I'm angry. And you knew how I was feeling based on what you saw me do. I changed my face, I grunted, and I moved my body. We can do that with our characters in our books also. So as I'm reading, I want to think about how is the character feeling? And I'm not just going to guess. I'm going to think about how I know that. And these emoji faces can help me think about that. When I see what my character is doing or looking like, or sometimes even saying, I can figure out how they're feeling. So today, let's go back to my book, Tom Gets Wet. Let's try to figure out how the characters are feeling and see how we know that. All right, so let's think about our characters here in our book, Tom Gets Wet. So the first characters we meet are Tiger and Tom. How can we figure out how they're feeling? Well, we're gonna think about what's happening. Tiger is getting wet and Tom is staying dry. Now I want to think about what on their faces might show me how they're feeling. Well, Tiger does not really look like he is happy. And I'm thinking if I was getting wet, I would not be happy either. But Tom is dry. He's not really, it's kind of hard to tell with a turkey. I don't really see him smiling or anything. So he might be feeling okay. Let's keep going. Now who do we see? Ooh, Turtle. Turtle, look at that. You can see his mouth right there. Is he smiling? No, he's kind of frowning. That tells us a little more about how Turtle might be feeling. He's probably not feeling very happy. He might be feeling mad or upset that he's getting all wet. Look at this. I know even more about Turtle's feelings now. His papers are falling out of his bag. Oh my gosh. And Tiger's things are falling out of his bag. Look at their faces. I definitely know they're not happy. They're likely feeling mad, frustrated, maybe sad or upset. And how do I know that? Based on what they're doing, what they're, how they're acting, their facial expressions, and what's happening to them in the story. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and go to the end. Tom the turkey hasn't really changed too much, but look at the characters' faces and what's happening now. Pup is shaking. How is he feeling? I bet he's feeling kind of happy, right? Pups like to do that. He almost looks like he's laughing. How about Tom? How is he feeling? Look at his face now. His eyes are wide open. His mouth is open and he's getting wet. I think you're right. He's feeling mad or upset. What about Tur uh, Tiger back here? What does he look like he's doing? He looks like he's kind of laughing at Tom, doesn't he? Does that tell you how he's feeling? Yeah, he kind of thinks this is funny. It made him laugh a little bit. Today, as a reader, this is what your job is. Your job is to find a character in your book and think about how that character is feeling. That's question number one up there. How is your character feeling? Then your question that I want you to think about is number two. How do you know that's how your character is feeling? I'm going to ask you to send me a video showing me book with a character that's having some feelings and explaining to me how they're feeling and how you know that. So while you're doing your independent reading today, I want you to be on the lookout for characters and their feelings.